<clears throat> pretty disturbing but not surprising unfortunately to see what's going on with the Israelis government handling of the coronavirus pandemic and how they've been giving you know all of their um, vaccines to um, everybody but the Palestinian folks which is as this says you know form of medical apartheid more or less uh, this is from Alan McLeod at Mint Press News. I'll link it down below. Media praise of Israel's COVID vaccination drive, a form of medical apartheid. A vaccination for the deadly COVID-19 virus began to be delivered in large numbers. Uh, Israel has been receiving a great deal of praise in global media for its handling of the fight against the pandemic, one that's cost the lives of over 1.8 million people worldwide in the last 12 months. Israel has gone into vaccine overdrive, announced the Financial Times, noting that the country 9 million people has become the world leader and an example to follow. Detailing its achievements, it told readers that at one vaccination site, people waited no longer than 10 minutes each to be assigned to receive a jab, with one of 10 booths being kept empty to handle overflows. Also noting that the high-tech system tech citizens... High tech system techs can exact um, an exact time of arrival to further help with the crowd control. The Wall Street Journal celebrated that Israel had vaccinated more than 10% of its population in just two weeks. Other outlets like the BBC noted the government was prioritizing the elder elderly at over 40% of over 60s having already received the first dose of a two injection procedure. Israel could become the first nation to vaccinate all its citizens, ran the economic times headlines but as alan mcleod is alluding to here okay that's all well and good but how about the huge number of palestinians that have haven't got the vaccine at all shouldn't that probably be somewhere in those articles bbc wall street journal <laughs> etc completely missing from all these accounts however there was was any discussion or even mention of the millions of Palestinians under Israel con Israeli control, none of whom have received the vaccine, leading to a form of medical apartheid. The move means that the settlers illegally occupying Palestinian land are being given preferential treatment over those they have kicked out. The action has been denounced by human rights groups who see it as is Israel's responsibility to provide medical treatment to those under their de facto jurisdiction, you would think, right? I mean, Jesus Christ. Other outlets such as Axios and the Independent also praised the Israeli government, but at least mentioned that there were no jabs for Palestinians. Israel is vaccinating so fast it's running out of vaccine, reported the WAPO excitedly before noting that the Netanyahu government has dismissed foreign criticism of its decision. Israel is facing another national election in March, and Prime Minister Netanyahu hopes to vaccinate the entire population and lift lockdown measures before citizens go to the polls. Indeed, there is speculation that his government overpaid drug company, drug company Pfizer in order to secure so many early shipments of the medicine. The government began immunizing citizens on December 19th. In contrast to Israel, Palestinians have had to endure a deadly pandemic without proper equipment or hospitals. Last month, Gaza announced it had run out of COVID-19 testing kits. The blockade, blockaded strip also asking WHO for badly needed medical supplies. It's a tale of, of two different worlds. I mean... It's infuriating, but again, not not surprising that how the Israeli government treats the Palestinian people. This is completely, completely in line. Obviously, it shouldn't be, but it's, yeah. Israeli authorities have also been guilty of more proactive measures that have spread the deadly coronavirus among the Palestinian population. In July, IDF forces demolished, yep, I remember this. I, I believe I made a video about this. In July, IDF forces demolished a recently constructed hospital and COVID-19 testing facility in Hebron in the West Bank, a move that was roundly condemned. I, I mean, just the level of depravity and just no regard for the basic dignity and human rights of the Palestinian people by the Israeli government. It's, 
is disgusting. And at least if Bernie had been elected, he said that, you know, aid to the Israel, Israeli government should be, there should be conditions placed on it, depending on getting rid of these massive abuses of human rights that they continue to perpetuate against the Palestinian people. It's a start. I mean, it's a start. You know, Biden ain't going to be doing that. Because demolishing a COVID-19 testing center is totally the best way for Israel to spend funds right now, wrote a female at anti-war group Code Pink. Seriously, this obsession with destroying Palestine, even at the expense of Israel coronavirus funding, is sick. Small donors had raised about 250000 to build the new center, which was being built in the memory of an elderly Palestinian man who had died of COVID-19 himself. There's also reportedly been a wave of Israeli settlers spitting on Palestinians in efforts to deliberately infect them with the virus. Jesus Christ. Israel's reported more than 40 or 440,000 confirmed cases of COVID-19 while Palestinian has Palestinian Palestine has registered over 142,000 itself. However, due to the pos paucity of testing kits and facilities is possible uh, this is, it is possible this is a serious underestimate. 4.2 million Americans, around 1% of the population, have received the first shot of a coronavirus vaccination, according to the CDC. However, the rollout has been fraught with mistakes, with many vaccines being wasted. Even worse, last week, a Wisconsin pharmacist was arrested and accused of deliberately spoiling more than 500 doses of the Moderna vaccine. Jesus, guys. Um... But while the Trump admin has been held under the spotlight, Israel has been treated more positively in corporate media. That's pretty interesting. Oh, man, again, not, not surprising that this is going on and not surprising that these corporate news outlets are completely missing the fact that this vaccination is being withheld from Palestinians while praising the Israeli government's effort in distributing these vaccinations. Not surprising, but still very sick and disgusting nonetheless. If you like the video, like the damn video, subscribe for more content. Peace, much love, all power to the people.